Dr. Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So about a week ago, I showed you how to take apart some large duplex roller chain. While I'm going to reuse that footage, I've added a little bit of extra stuff that I've had to reshoot um, because I lost it back then explaining why I was taking apart the roller chain. The ultimate goal is to build a treadle hammer that uses the links from the chain as linkages and other parts in the hammer mechanism. I'll go over this uh, later in this video. I still have some details to figure out and some parts to source before I really get stuck into this project, but I'm very close to starting to cut metal now. So, this is duplex chain. Um, I'm just going to take a quick stab at getting this pin out. This stuff weighs uh, 20 kilos per meter. that happen again. Uh. Let's try not to do that too often. Just a matter of breaking that pin out. On the move, I think. Okay, so this, if you will, is the upright for a treadle hammer, correct? Right? These are the parallel arms. Make them a little more powerful. And this will become, and this hammer, this 12 pound sledgehammer, will become the actual hammer. Now, that leaves, how do you link these to this? And that's where these come in. They are almost perfect. Even the relief is enough to actually allow 
the spring to function so you get plenty of room to weld. So there'll be one linkage there, similar here to the ram that's going to hold the hammer, and then one of these. will become the down linkage for the treadle itself. That gives you a roller that actually does the rolling on the spring. Can't go past the shackle here or the, the collar. So that gives you a bit of a stop as well. The only thing I've got to worry about is this, whether or not we've got enough actual range of movement. So that's why I'm taking apart the duplex roller chain. Still looking for a nice solid section to use for the anvil portion of the treadle hammer. At this point, I've got another one of these 12 pound sledgehammers, which I could marry up to the, a section of this, but that's hollow section and I'm, I'm not that keen on that. So that's where I'm at. Um, I start cutting things to length the next couple of weeks so uh, keep an eye out so there you have it taking apart roller chain is not too difficult it doesn't require a press the one would be nice I do hope that you'll follow along on my treadle hammer build now that I'm about to ready to start cutting metal if you have any comments or suggestions for the hammer project, please post them down below. Anything that can help make the process a bit easier is great. Uh, always open to suggestions. More ideas are better than none. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, I would much appreciate it if you did subscribe. And we are coming up on that 500 mark where we will be making a square punch um, as the giveaway item. So, get out to your shop, have fun, but stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.